have video footage for you. It shows uh, the protesters, who are the Ukrainian National Youth Sailing Team, boarding a small dinghy or a, a tender uh, to try and prevent the £430 million super yacht from docking at the Aegean Sea Resort of Bodrum. Uh, well, the sailing team's coach, Pavlo Donots, um, joins me now. Um, good afternoon to you. Thank you for joining us here on Sky News after your um, exploits earlier on today. Hello, hello, everyone. Glory to Ukraine. Um, perhaps you can start by telling us, you and your team are in Turkey. Uh, you were there for, as part of a regatta. How did you come to find out that this super yacht uh, was there, and how did you find out it belonged to Roman Abramovich? What led you um, to protest today? Okay, uh, yep, right now we are with the sailors. Um, we keep moving with our basic plan, and we are in the uh, boardroom. Uh, <clears throat> we are um, uh, preparing for the boardroom international regatta, which will start it from 1st of April uh, till the 6th of April. And right now we have uh, trainings here. And we've got a call from our friend, Albert Kabakov. He's um, a director of uh, Black Sea Odessa Yacht Club. Uh, he have got some information that uh, the yacht of um, Russian, uh, Russian um, oligarch is going to, to go to uh, Bodrum. And we just decided with all team to make something important, to make something useful for our our country, for our people, and we just we just took the flex and go go inside. Um, Pavlo, we understand why you did it. As you said, you wanted to to make a protest, to make a stand. You're making headlines around the world, but I'm just looking at the size of your vessel compared to this super yacht. That looks very dangerous. Talk to me about how you and your team navigated this protest on the water. Yeah, everybody should know that um, I'm a professional coach and the sailors are professionals and uh, every movement, every action from our side, it was totally safety. And um, we just made um, we just made safety actions, but uh, as we see now, uh, we we get our goal to to let all people from all over the world uh, to know that Ukrainian uh, and Ukrainian people and the country deserves uh, to be um, freedom to have freedom and uh, and um, and have a peace in in Ukraine. Um it's important to point out it was a peaceful protest. Describe to us what you did. And did anyone from on board that boat come out to talk to you? Do you know if Roman Abramovich was on board? Who, who came out to speak to you? Um, we just got any, any words from, from the boat. Uh, we've got some, um, some words from the land, from the staff uh, of uh, Turkish port. They said that uh, guys, it's not it's not safety. Please go away. But uh, we talked that to them that it is a boat of uh, of a man who is somehow connected with the Russian government, uh, uh, which started the war on our land in Ukraine. Uh, nobody nobody sp speak uh, with us from from the boat, but um we saw some people there. Um, Pavle, where well, your voices have been heard, not just by the crew on board that super yacht, but as I said, around the world, this is making headlines. Um, can I ask you what the situation is like for your friends and family at home in Ukraine? Obviously, you're in Turkey at this regatta. For you and your team, it's, it's as much as it can be business as usual. But what's happening back at home for your family, Pavle? Yeah, it is a difficult. It is a really difficult situation for us because right now we, uh, we have sailors, uh, and their parents are they in Ukraine. Somebody in Kiev. Uh, personally, my parents in Odessa, and uh, some parents from o Odessa region, and uh, we realize uh, the true news from them, and uh, it is it is really sad to realize that it is totally um, military horror in Ukraine. 
So we just want to support somehow for all our parents, relatives, friends, and uh, everybody should know that Ukrainian people are together and all over the world. Well, Pavlo, you took a peaceful protest to that super yacht the size of your boat. It was David and Goliath in comparison. And I think, you know, that that analogy is very clear for the war as a whole. And just as a, as a final point, what would your message be? What was the message you were trying to get um, by approaching that boat, this peaceful protest? What would your message be to, to people watching today? Yeah, we just we just realize, and uh, our opinion and the opinion of our team, it is that uh, all all the countries and all the nations should should make uh, some actions to stop the war, uh, because it, this war is not only about Ukraine. Uh, I think it is it is about all Europe and uh, all the world. And um, I think we should do some actions to uh, to don't let uh, any Russian people who somehow connected with the Russian government and uh, somehow uh, connected with the war on our land, they should not feel comfortable uh, in other city of Turkey, of Europe and uh, everywhere. And Pavlo, what has um, been your experience? Because obviously you compete in international events. You are meeting sailors from other countries around the world. What are the international community saying to you about what's happening in your country? Yeah, uh, we have a lot of experience. Uh, by the way, we left Ukraine uh, before the war just started. We left Ukraine on 23rd of January. Uh, to have uh, to participate in uh, in couple regattas in Spain, and uh, we have a lot of supportness, you know, from from uh, all over the Europe, uh, especially from sailing federations, clubs, and uh, because because our team have some names, some results, and we know each other in Europe. So we we have a great, great supportness from all our friends all over Europe and Turkey. And we are really thankful for, for this. Because it is it is very important for the kids to realize that they are not alone right now in, in this terrible situation. Uh, well, Pavlo, we're just showing viewers now um, footage that you filmed from on board that tender as you approach that super yacht that we believe um, or we understand belongs to the Russian oligarch uh, Roman Abramovich, one of the number of oligarchs sanctioned by the UK, um, taking that peaceful protest uh, up to that boat to, to get your message, not just to them, but as I've said, um, to people watching around the globe. Uh, we wish you uh, and your fellow team members uh, well. The Ukrainian National Youth Sailing Team currently uh, about to compete in a regatta in Bodrum in Turkey.